can you do a room tour? Yeah, I can just for you guys. I'm going to do this because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to get here. I wouldn't be able to be here without you guys. So with this, I thought, you know, a lot of you guys keep asking me for a room tour of all this gloriousness. So I thought... I'm gonna do it for you guys because I don't really have any other videos to do this week and I thought it would be a little bit fun to kind of just do a relaxing thing to just sit down and show you guys all the cool stuff in my room so without further ado guys we're gonna get straight into this if you guys are new here for some reason this is your first video of mine make sure to hit that like and subscribe and make sure also check out sandwich on films down below for ways to see films early and of course a big thank you to all my patreon supporters because without you I wouldn't be able to do this into this room now understand there might be some dust everywhere because i suck at dusting but obviously i'm missing a poster up there i'm planning on getting a giant toy story 4 poster actually i do have one i just haven't picked it up from the person yet but i do have my long shot poster down here i love long shots one of my favorite films of this year one of my favorite romantic comedies of all time now i saw this film like six times in theaters i've definitely enjoyed it. it's actually on blu right now so if you guys want to check that out definitely go check that out because i fucking laughed my ass off in it but of course let's move into the room let's close this beautiful door and see that magical La La Land poster with my little fanny pack. Don't ask why. I got all my hats right there. Uh, my Black Widow hat that, of course, I got from San Diego Comic Con. A War Dogs hat. Toy Story Vans hat. A Vans hat, like my first Vans hat ever. But we do have the La La Land poster right here. Spider Man Far From Home. I love this movie to death. I'm so happy with it. I'm happy that I actually picked up the poster because I almost didn't. Here's my ring light. This is the lighting that I use. I'm planning on getting different lighting soon, but this is the one that I'm using. I want to put this actually over there for my trailer reactions, but for now, this is where I'm using all my lighting. Uh, here's some Star Wars stuff that I've kind of just snipped out, Fallout. I'm a big fan of Fallout, so of course I have all those. And then this poster, uh, my friend actually drew me from Guardians. I love Guardians of the Galaxy, and she gave me it for one of my birthdays, so thank you, Melissa. You're awesome, and you can actually see her in some of my short films as her boyfriend actually filmed them, so it was really cool. Like, we've done a lot of short films, and I really enjoy the short films going back and rewatching them, and I'm hoping once I graduate to actually do more. But thank you for that drawing. Uh, you see some track and field, cross-country stuff. I used to be a big fan of that. You can actually find some of those medals also right there. I have a ton of them. Uh, Iron Giant poster, or not poster, but it's artwork. I love, love, love this. this. is actually from the original designer of the Iron Giant. It's one of my favorite artworks that I actually own. And, of course, you can see the Amiibos right there. And every other Amiibo that I have from Super Smash Bros. And any other thing that's Legend of Zelda. And, of course, I do have this artwork as well that I got at one of the Comic-Cons I was at. This is one of my favorite artworks in here. And this is kind of my tribute to Smash Brothers. I'm a big fan of Smash Brothers, And you see these Funkos, which we will get to soon. But these Amiibos are some of my favorites that I have. And I have absolutely love this artwork I, I mean like I probably stare at it like once a day just with how amazing it is and it's one of my favorite games of all time so I obviously had to do it back of the door I have some random stuff now I'm planning on actually putting uh, the two Star Wars ones up this kind of like my nostalgic wall uh, you got Oswald the rabbit up there and you also have a picture of me from the great showman screening I went to don't ask why uh, the Steamboat Willie thing. Steamboat Willie is one of my favorite cartoons of all time. And of course, the limited edition vinyl record is on the wall as well. You got a little Breaking Bad thing there. I don't know why that's there. I actually forgot it there. Then a couple more track stuff from when I went to the state championships for varsity. So that was pretty cool. Moving over, my sister actually made me this. This contains every movie ticket I've bought in, in the last three years and actually before that any that I had taken. I used to actually grab them and tape them to the wall, but I came home and they actually made me this and it's very much more convenient. As we kind of look in there, you see some King Arthur, uh, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Hunger Games, Neighbors, uh, Terminator Salvation, Daddy's Home, The Gift, Vacation. There's a lot in there. Seamlessly, I, I see a Kingsman one in there. It, it's very nice seeing all those, and I actually have a lot more to actually add into there. But you see the aliens. Uh, this is one of my favorite artworks I do own. It's Trunks. As you can see, it goes slashing Frieza, but it's the one above it that watches me as I sleep, and it's the glorious Pennywise, the dancing clown. Ah! Yeah, he watches me sleep. Yeah, I don't know how to really feel about that. But I love these. And actually, I got them from this local shop. I'm planning on actually buying a couple more. And actually, my plans is, is to change out my background and actually be able to change out the artwork behind it and get a ton of these. There's Venom ones, Spider-Man ones, Yu-Gi-Oh ones, all sorts of stuff like that. And I want to buy a bunch more of these once I actually get my own space, uh, which will probably be in the next year once I'm done with college. Because college is a bitch, guys, just so you know. Uh, moving down here, I have two shields, uh, Deadpool and a Wonder Woman shield. Uh, I've talked about this that my manager my old manager josh made c's he loves these he's actually made me a couple other weapons which we'll get to 
But I absolutely love the Deadpool shield. I love the Wonder Woman shield. It does have the buckle on the back. And of course, it actually has a unicorn at the top, which is great. And then, of course, shout out to Carlos, my friend. We the we Love You 3000 poster from the Endgame re-release. I put that in quotation marks. The re-release. I don't really know if you would consider that. Uh, next thing you have is my poster wall. Now, this is actually uh, the door to my closet, to be completely honest. Uh, and like... Like, you can literally open it and see. Like, it's literally just a closet with clothes. And Oh, there's Zerg. If you guys know uh, Commander Buzz Lightyear Star Command, that's the Zerg from it. Uh, yeah, so th that that's just the simple stuff in there. But th it's just posters kind of holding up uh, as I op move my little love sack here that I love sitting on. We'll sit on this for a second. Kind of just looking at all these, this is my poster wall. Uh, you see Detective Pikachu, Dora, Glass. I don't love all these movies, but I do like some of the posters that I put up. And I actually have a ton more to put up, but I just haven't yet. And in the middle of that, as you can see, you see my mic arm. Now, I have a mic arm going all the way up to my Toy Story shelf, kind of just dropping down to where I can do my reviews right there, as you guys always see. And, of course, speaking of Toy Story, let's look at that beautiful collection up there. My God, I love this. I love this collection. You can actually see... Giggles McDimples just sitting right there and her pet patrol. I, I actually have a couple more people to buy. I need to get Gabby Gabby. And I know a lot of you guys actually like my Toy Story collection, uh, which probably my most watched video now. And I, I fucking love you guys for watching that. But really, really love Toy Story, as you guys can tell. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys definitely know that. But here's the premiere spot. You know what this spot is. This is where I do all my videos. Yeah! And you guys know that for sure. Bam! But... Looking at this whole spot, you see my little Ghostbusters thing that I have down there. Uh, you capture ghosts in there, so that's cool. Uh, but we'll look at the posters first. Dark Knight Trilogy, I love this poster. I love the look of it. Uh, moving up, you got Scarlet Spider. You got Mad Max poster I have. You have my Harley Quinn bat right here that I have. Got that from Box Lunch. Got some cool stickers. I uh, love Monty Python, the Holy Grail. Jessica Rabbit's great. Legend of Zelda is fantastic. Baby Mario, uh, Tiny Rick. And the rest of these are kind of just random. Uh, this is actually my first Toy Story hat. Like, one of my first hats when I was younger. So, I have that. Uh, Last Jedi. Don't love the movie. Love the poster. Uh, Toy Story 4. I love, love, love the look of that poster. Wolf Wash. It's my favorite film of all time. So, you definitely need to have a DiCaprio sitting right there. Oh, God. His head got really big all of a sudden. But, yeah. And then, of course, you do have the Eye of Agamotta. Or however the fuck you say it. Uh, you got Baby Groot. And you do have, actually, this is my grandma. Uh, she passed away... 10 years ago, maybe? Uh, her ashes are in there, so it's kind of like she's watching down on me as I do everything. Uh, you also have my Gears of War 5 poster that I just picked up. I love Gears of War. I need to wrap it in the background. I already have Scourge back here as well. But I also have Negan's bat back here. And just some stuff to the side. Of course, you see all the Blu-rays that I have, Funko Pops. Uh, these are all the Funko Pops that I currently have lined up on this background. Oh, I was just doing an It video as well before I filmed this. So, you know, that's why that's there. Uh, kind of just moving up, you got Thanos right next to the Avengers collection, you got Thor, you got Hulk, you got the Infinity Gauntlet Funko Pop, and you got all these Funkos just kind of lining up all above. You even have the ones that are taken out of the box up above and just all going around. You know, we have all the Toy Story ones in the middle, Disney, all sorts of stuff like that. Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, superheroes all alike right here, which is crazy. They actually just announced the Iron Man Funko Pop that has the Infinity Gauntlet, and I need that now. Uh, kind of moving over here, here's my 4K TV. I love my 4K TV, as you can tell. Uh, I watch everything on this damn thing. Uh, in my background, you also see I have Spider-Man right there, Toy Story Bucket, uh, Deadpool Maximum Effort, a scary teddy bear from Nightmare on Elm Street, or not Nightmare on Elm Street, Nightmare Before Christmas, and Dragon Ball. And then, of course, that Dragon Ball poster that I have in the background is actually the whole story of Dragon Ball, which is really cool. Kylo Ren, Guardians of the Galaxy, which sadly, I'm actually going to be taking this down soon, adding a Spider-Man Mysterio poster that I bought from Comic-Con. It was like $75, but it's so flipping cool, and it's one of my favorites. And I need to find a spot for this because I absolutely love this as well. Uh, you got my Ray one. And then you also have a Naruto one on this side as well that tells the whole story of Naruto. And, of course, a Batman Beyond statue with my Game Boy Color. My original Game Boy Color that actually still works and it has Pokemon Silver in it. My favorite Pokemon game of all time. Um, and then a couple other Game Boy Color games hiding behind it. But, yeah, Batman Beyond. Love the statue. Love everything. I found that this statue is, like, actually you can only buy it at, like, the Warner Brothers lot. And I found it for, like, 30 bucks at a store, a used store out here. Uh, next thing I have is the Babadook book and the Rocky signed glove from Sylvester Stallone. 
Xbox One with his T-Gate, uh, Master Chief, a uh, bunch of my cool books that I have right here. Uh, Marvel Encyclopedia, Art of Rick and Morty, Art of Toy Story 2. This is actually the book from John Wick 3 that he kills someone with, and there's stuff inside there. Uh, my Life in the Movies, The Art of the Avengers, Inception, The Shooting Script, Batman the Flash, all my Watchmen stuff. These are actually Watchmen figures. I'll actually take these out and show you guys, because these are actually really, really cool. When you open these up, I'm a big fan of Watchmen, and yeah, I just love the figures in general, and kind of just diving into all of them. You got Mysterio, or not Mysterio, Dr. Manhattan, I'm so stupid. I don't know why I was saying Mysterio. I'm so obsessed with him. And of course, uh, you got the Comedian. Uh, really, really love the details on these, and I don't even know if you can buy them anymore, because I couldn't even find the other ones. And then behind there, I have some more movies and actually screenings that I got for being in the Phoenix Film Critics Society, so like... I got, like, Can You Ever Forgive Me? I don't think you can buy this on DVD, but I have it on DVD, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, you got the Watchmen novel, you have the Toy Story art book, and you have a Roma art book, which, yeah, pretty cool. Next thing I got in this next section is Groot's toys. These are kind of a random assortment of stuff that I just have. You got my cool Groot figure. You have a Pandora bird, Rick and Morty's weapon, or little portal gun you have scooby-doo where are you blu-ray collection and of course a wand from harry potter you got my switch switch and some controls ps4 and kratos and of course my whole like little avengers setup right here and then kind of moving in here just a bunch of games little figures uh, att at at whatever you want to call it millennium falcon and of course, these are actually like when I know I need to watch movies, I put them in front of my face. So I'm sitting there when I'm playing a game and I look at them and I'm like, damn it, Zach, you need to watch these for a review or to catch up on something. So obviously, like I have one more Rambo to watch as of currently filming this uh, Taxi Driver and King of Comedy. I'm prepping for Joker uh, Attack of the Clones. I'm doing for the next Star Wars review and The Thing. Yeah, I just want to watch this in general because I've never seen it. Um, some more games, Trunks and of course, more games as always. Moving over, this is actually my Spider-Man Far From Home uh, artwork poster that I was talking about. Some Terminator posters, uh, more Blu-rays, more Funko Pops, all alike. My little Nightmare Before Christmas little feature right there. And then some posters right here that I actually do need to switch out because I don't know why I have those still. <laughs> uh, here's my tripod that I use for trailer reactions. Any sets that you see from this point of view that a lot of you guys kind of see in general. Uh, you have, of course, some more little figurines that kind of watch me. Steamo Willie, Oswald, Rocket, uh, my soldier, Mr. Potato Head, Zerg, my Predator, and just kind of the stuff that sits on top. And then, of course, kind of just my desk in general. Uh, it's a little bit cluttered right now um, with, like, kind of mic situations because this is for the mic. Uh, this is for just headphones in general. Headphones for my iPhone. Uh, little SNES, and then kind of just these statues, Shazam, uh, Mr. Potato Head has all the wires in him, uh, I love Dairy, Berry, uh, Balloons, uh, Toy Story, I really like that statue, Oswald, and of course, I just love this mic arm, because one, I, I, I just in general like it, it's off the table, it gives me more room, and of course, I have Spider-Man and Deadpool just chilling on this motherfucking villain thing, what, what, what you guys have to say about that? All right, let's move on. Uh, some things sitting right there, uh, comics, comics, and then I actually have, when you look to the side, I have this brilliant artwork. Thank you to Mara for handing me that out and uh, giving me that for Christmas because that's a really fun artwork, and I like looking at it when I'm just sitting there. Uh, you got my little go or alien. You got Toy Story 2 and kind of just moving around the side. I usually do have a PS3 under here that I use for uh, PS3 games. And yeah, because I love my love my PS3 games. And just kind of moving from there, some more weapons right here that you see Josh made me. You got the Wonder Woman shield, you got Stormbreaker, and you have a bunch of my press badges that I've had for certain events that I've gotten to go to. You know, my Heath Ledger Joker painting, which is just awe-inspiring and amazing. Uh, my Mad Max Fury Road artwork is great. A lot of my things that just kind of protect me as I'm sleeping. And, of course, my Funko Pop collection. Now, as you can see right here, when you get up closer, there's more behind them. There's tons and tons behind them. So I'm running out of space, and it's not a great thing. Uh, you have them sitting on top of the throne. I always switch who's ever sitting in that out. Moving down the year, you got some of these guys. And, of course, my Infinity Gauntlet always sitting there for me to protect myself. Uh, you also have some Funko Pops right here. Kind of these are all the ride ones or the big ones that 
I just decided to take out. And of course, you also have K2SO just giving you a wave hello here. You got some God of War. This is my God of War section. My Gears of War section with some other creatures. Another Gears of War section. Fallout with mixed up with Bethesda and Borderlands and Destiny. Borderlands or Bioshock and Deadpool. Some just random assortment of stuff that I've gotten from people over the years. So I kind of just all throw it on the same shelf. This one is just beautiful i mean just more statues and of course another one that carries a bunch of statues i definitely have a lot and you guys can definitely tell that for sure that's gonna be my room tour i hope you guys enjoyed that again this was very impromptu this was fun i just kind of laid back less editing for me kind of just snip the video together but just overall enjoy it a lot of you guys again asked me for this and i did one earlier in the year but i said i should do one before the back half i'll probably do another blu-ray collection in the back half and also a pop funko collection we'll, we'll see about that unless i start getting rid of some Thank you guys so much for watching this though. You guys are seriously all the best. I appreciate every single one of you guys who support me, who hit that like button, who hit that subscribe button, who in general are just there for me and giving me all the support. Make sure to go check out my Patreon if you guys want to support me just a little bit more. Also, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Again, if you're new here, go over to Samachon Films. And of course, guys, until next time, stay classy.